All right, um, today for lab, you're going to be finishing off the second day, which means you're going to be starting on part 19. Uh, you're going to add 8 to 10 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid. Chances are you're going to want an item that's closer to the side of 10 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid. You're going to put that in a 100 mil uh, beaker. Uh, you're going to, to remove your filter paper out of your butanol funnel top. You're going to need to use a scupula. It says that you shouldn't use a scupula. That means don't get it in the hydrochloric acid. Uh, scoop it in as best that you can. Just, you can touch it. It's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, and then uh, once you get it into the beaker, as best you can, it's best to use a stirring rod to kind of get as much of that black uh, copper oxide off. Uh, it'll, the solution will turn green, that's fine, that's what it's supposed to do. Once it's, the filter paper is as clean as you possibly can, to get more of the uh, black stuff that would be on the inside of your butyl funnel, you use your uh, stirring rod, flip it into there, and then kind of just go around and kind of clean it. You don't want to touch it since it is 6 molar hydrochloric acid, strong enough, uh, that's about half strength. So you kind of move it around and best that you can to kind of clean out some of the black uh, copper oxide that would be in the bottom and then just flip it back into your solution uh, and kind of again put it around enough so that you can get uh, all of that off. To wring out that because you've got a copper now in solution, you want to wring it out by rolling your stirring rod over the side of the beaker as best you can. Some of you might see a little bit of paper fall apart into the solution. That's not the end of the world. Um, and then after you're done with that, you can just put that onto a paper towel and your solution should be all green now. Mine isn't because I don't have hydrochloric acid in there. The next step is to take the, uh, with is 10 centimeters of, in, the, in the lab, it says 10 centimeters of uh, aluminum wire. We use 20, so it's a little bit easier for you to work with. Uh, before you do this, though, you should put two mils of uh, distilled water in there, and you need to coil it kind of like an uh, electric uh, stove coil is. Uh, you want to make sure the coils are not super close to each other because it's going to be a difficult time getting uh, the copper off of those coils. Uh, and you'll want to leave enough of a space so that you can have a hole. And then the rest of the time you're just going to in and out of the solution. It's going to bubble and fizz. It might get a little warm. Um, you just got to man up and do it. And uh, in and out, in and out. And as you do that is you kind of swirl almost the solution at a way you're going to uh, probably start knocking off some of the copper. That's what you want to have happen as much as possible. Uh, it might require you to take it out of, out of the solution and spray it with the uh, distilled water at your table and then continue. Once the, uh, that has stopped, your solution most likely will no longer be green anymore. Uh, once it's more of a clearish color and you're not seeing any more copper being uh, produced, it's going to look mossy. It's not going to be the same color as you were before. You're going to want to then get a filter paper uh, this is the filter paper you're going to take the mass of, because this is important. Uh, hopefully the other person has, uh, was also drying out your and cleaning out your uh, butyl funnel cup. You're going to put that in again, put it in, but you have the mass of that filter paper, write that down, make sure you get that. Put it on the uh, butyl funnel, turn the uh, water on just like yesterday, and then you're going to pour not having the aluminum piece in there, you're going to pour your solution with copper in here, trying to make sure that you get all the copper out of that beaker into the butyl funnel. Uh, that actually takes you to about uh, step 32. Uh, it says af after step 32, it's 33, it says after a copper metal on the filter paper, shut off the filter paper, a uh, filter, and add uh, five to seven mils of ethanol. Then we're not gonna do that uh, because we don't have a uh, heat lamp to dry this out. Instead, you're going to then take your uh, butyl funnel and put it back 
into the uh, cabinet like we did yesterday. And then before class starts on Wednesday, we are going to uh, weigh them out and then you'll uh, be able to find out how much copper uh, you have left and you, in, in your downtime. You should be working on the uh, stoichiometry problems that will get you to find out what your theoretical uh, yield uh, for copper is, and I believe there's about five uh, stoichiometry problems that you're going to have to do for that. Uh, the gall cabinet should be open. Uh, get to work.